Good morning, everybody. This is Romans 1, verse 17. For in the gospel, a righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous shall live by faith. On the 31st of October, 1517, 503 years ago today, Martin Luther nailed his 95 theses on the door of the cathedral in Wittenberg, Germany. Luther wanted to have an academic debate with some of his fellow ministers in the Catholic Church. At that time, he was still hoping for reform in the Roman Church and a return to biblical teaching. However, no one would debate him. But some students copied his paper, translated it from Latin to German, printed it and distributed it all around Germany. So this action of Luther's became the event that sparked the Protestant Reformation. When the gospel started running freely again in Europe and then out to the whole world. For many years, up until about 1515, Luther had been very troubled in his own soul. As hard as he tried, he could not make himself good enough for the kingdom of God. And he did try extremely hard with fastings, prayings, and even self-flagellation. But in 1515, he was teaching at the University of Wittenberg from the Book of Romans. He was terrified by the very verse we have read today and the realization that he needed to be righteous, but he knew he was not. He could not reach the standard. Then the Lord graciously opened his eyes to see that God declares a person to be righteous. When Christ died, our sin was imputed to him. In remarkable grace, in return, God imputes righteousness to anyone who believes and trusts in the Lord Jesus Christ. The righteous have life through faith, not by their own efforts. Luther wrote about this experience. He said, here I felt as if I were entirely born again and had entered paradise itself through the gates that had been flung open. Of course, this was not a new revelation. It was the New Testament gospel that had been preached for 1500 years. But over many centuries in Europe, there had been an effort by the apostate church to destroy the true gospel and destroy anyone who believed it. But God had prepared his man. And the gospel message of grace alone through faith alone, in Christ alone, as revealed in scripture alone, started to spread like wildfire. And of course, that's one of the reasons we are trusting in the Lord today. It's a wonderful piece of history. Have a great day.